My name is Eric Tucker. I'm with the Associated Press in Washington. The Justice Department has issued a scathing nearly 600 page report on the police response to the deadly 2022 massacre at Robb Elementary School in Uvalde, Texas. The report documents a series of cascading failures by police ranging from mistakes in technology, in communication, in training, in lack of command and in general police aptitude. It also made a series of recommendations for how police officers around the country need to do better in responding to deadly active shooter situations like the one in Uvalde two years ago. It describes how officers made a mistaken assumption that the shooter was barricaded inside rather than understanding that it was an active shooter situation that required immediate and urgent intervention. In fact, the report says that officers uh, acted with no urgency in establishing com a command post, creating confusion among the police and first responders about who was in charge. It also says that the school district police chief at the time did not have radios at the scene to communicate with officers. So in short, it is a truly scathing accounting of all the different failings in the police response to this deadly shooting. In a sign of the gravity of the situation, Attorney General Merrick Garland and other very senior Justice Department officials traveled to Uvalde to present the report and to meet with family members who are going to be responding to the findings throughout the day. In a statement, the Attorney General said that the police had failed the children of this elementary school and that the disaster is something that needs to be learned from in the future and that these children did not need to suffer the way that they had.